while plenty of places are beginning to reopen and ease their lockdown restrictions, there are plenty of obstacles remaining to the economy after that. So I have this article up from Mish Talk, and it's the economy will not soon return to normal, here's why. And it's about, like, many of the obstacles and hindrances facing the economy, even after it reopens, that are going to hold things back for a while. And I'm going to read this article. So here it is. Car rental companies are just one of many. Ripple impacts now in play. So numerous chain reaction ripple impacts will delay the economic recovery. Let's start with a look at car rental companies. No magic answers. Bankruptcies happen when there is too much debt leverage accompanied by some sort of economic shock. That makes sense because if you're not making any more sales, but you still have to cover your original overhead of your business, then you're building up debt up to a point where you not be able to hand it. For example, Hertz filed for bankruptcy on Friday. Now the entire rental industry is scrambling for answers, but there really aren't any. Because obviously people don't want to travel anywhere when there's an epidemic going on. And even if the formal restrictions imposed by governments are lifted, that doesn't change the mentality of people or the propensity to go out for trips. So it's going to be a while beyond that. So would, that's what's happening to the car industry. COVID-19 caused air traffic to plunge 90%, but blame debt for the Hertz bankruptcy, not COVID. Layoff impact. CN comments on the Hertz bankruptcy. Hertz has notified 12,000 employees in North America that they were losing their jobs, and another 4,000 are on furloughs. Its U.S. workforce stood at 38,000 employees at the start of the year, with about a quarter of them represented. Auto manufacturing impact. Ford, GM, and Fiat Chrysler all face a steep drop in fleet purchases. So turning back on the economy is not as simple as flipping back on a switch. Because a lot of these jobs that have been left over are not going to come back. I think they're saying like 40% of the jobs that were gone from the current crisis are just not going to come back because the businesses are bankrupt. Or they were jobs that were already on their way out anyway, like retail jobs that were being, going to be supplanted by online stuff anyway. Or the process was just hastened by the coronavirus, and this was going to happen anyway. So even after we get a full recovery, there's still going to be a lot of economic reshuffling that's going to have to take place as the economy recovers for us to get back to where we were in, in terms of employment before the crisis happened. Last year, Hertz alone bought 1.7 million U.S. automobiles, about 10% of the U.S. auto production. So a single rental car company bought a whole 10% of U.S. auto production. That's interesting. I didn't know that. CNN commented, As its budget said, it expects its fleet in the Americas will be reduced by 20% by the end of June compared to a year earlier. If Avis Hertz budget have too many cars, then a flood of cars will hit the used car market. It's already happening. Hertz had already announced it would not purchase any new cars for the rest of the year, and now it's starting to sell its vehicles as used cars. As of early March, it had sold 41,000 cars out of its U.S. fleet and another 13,000 out of its European fleet. On Friday, FAA granted airlines the right to halt services to regional cities. As many as 60 cities face flight touchdowns. So now they're talking about the airline sector. Corporate travel impact. Companies forced to allow more work at home have noticed no loss of productivity. The same applies to use of teleconferencing instead of air travel. So we talked about how there's going to be a rise in home activity as a result of this pandemic. But now it seems to be saying that the rise in teleconferencing is going to be supplanting permanently the need for a lot of business air travel. So that's an interesting take on things. Both cut down on eating out and driving. Point number two is an additional hit to the car rental companies and hotels. 
This means more layoffs or fewer people were called from furloughs. Yeah, that's just what I'm saying. This crisis is accelerating permanent shifts in the structure of people's behavior that were already happening anyway. And so those, a lot of those lost jobs are just not going to be coming back. It's important to factor in the change in consumer attitudes. Some retail is going away, never to come back. It will take a while for people feeling comfortable having to sit in a full capacity theater steady in their airplane. Some people forced to cut their own hair will continue doing so. Yeah, because it's not that hard to cut your own hair if you think about it. And people just went to barbers and hair salons out of habit. Some people who seldom cooked learned how. They will be slow to return to eating out for many reasons. Again, I don't understand why people who used to eat out just weren't completely supplementing that with takeout. Because I understand there's some sort of experience to eating out, but isn't a lot of just restaurants the convenience of not having to prepare food for yourself? Or having food you perceive as higher quality prepared for you? And in that instance, wouldn't takeout or delivery be just as good as going to eat out at a restaurant? That's one thing I don't entirely understand about what's happening. In general, any persons who suffered a huge income reduction will be very slow to resume eating out, traveling, or car buying. To entice people to buy cars, the automakers will have to cut prices, and perhaps dramatically gives new model year is coming. Existing home sales pledge 18%, much worse is on its way. April will not mark a bottom in sales, here's why. Existing sales are recorded at closing, whereas new sales are accounting at signing. April sales represent transactions that occurred in February and March. May sales, transactions in March and April, are sure to be much worse. Even June sales could be worse. Yeah, because the big lockdown didn't occur until the middle of March, so if what they're saying holds, the May sales will include a lot of activity that happened in the early part of March before the virus reaction really took off. Real estate agent impact. Price is sure to follow traffic lower, and real estate agents will get hit twice, first on the amount of traffic, and second as prices decline. April sales prices rose. That was heavily skewed by the reduction in sales. Grim economic data. On May 8th, 20 million jobs lost as unemployment rises most in history. May 15th, retail sales plunged way more than expected. Industrial production declines most in 101 years. GDP now forecasts the economy shrank by a 42% annual pace. That's astounding. Ripple impacts may last years. The economic data has been grim and the ripple impacts may last for years. Fed Chair Powell warns recovery may stretch to end of 2021. So the Fed's in panic mode. Seldom does the Fed openly ask Congress to spend more money or engage in fiscal stimulus. But that happened on May 14th when Powell and Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kishkari. For details, see Fed for notes more free money. Sure sign Fed is in a state of panic. Global COVID risk ranges up to 82 trillion. To understand the total global risk, please see this article. Anyone who expects a fast recovery out of this mess is delusional. Okay, so that seems to be for the article. It's just talking about how this virus is accelerating steep structural changes and how many businesses are permanently shuttered. And the fact that consumer behavior is going to be impacted much longer than the lockdowns last because consumers aren't going to feel comfortable doing things for a while, even if the government says it's okay. And now all these factors are going to lead to huge obstacles facing the economic recovery even after the government formally restricts the lockdown and officially gives the okay for a full reception of all economic activity. 
So the virus impact is going to last a while, and these are some of the impacts and obstacles that are going to stick around for a while. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, leave your thoughts in the comments section, and share this video with anyone you think might be interested.